What better place to be than down on the river in the summertime? With the breeze rustling through the trees, everything was lush and green and alive. And best of all, was the promise of a big fat chub on the end of our line. With that thought in mind, Pete and I made our way down the overgrown path to one of our spots on the River Chelmer. Downstream from the weir, away from the deafening roar of the fast foamy water, we found some likely looking spots, but they were pretty tight, with a lot of horrendous looking snacks to contend with, and with the bright sunshine that day, the shallow crystal clear water meant stealth was paramount. Landing a fish here, we had our work cut out for us. The shallow gravel run in Pete's swim was like an aquarium, and in the gin clear water you could easily see the hook bait sitting there on the bottom. Fortunately, the tall reeds provided some good cover, but we still kept our voices down to a whisper. Soon after settling in, dark shapes began to glide in over the gravel. So many fish in the swim, it took longer than we thought to nab a bite. When it finally came, it turned out to be one of the smaller ones that had slipped up, but at least it was a chub. Maybe that big juicy lobworm was a bit conspicuous, or maybe the fish were getting a bit preoccupied with the small pellets we were loose feeding. Either way, Pete switched to maggot hook bait to see if that would help to tempt one of these wily chub. sat there, eyes glued to the water, captivated by the sight of around a dozen good chub circling our little aquarium, drifting out of the snags to feed before drifting back in again. Finally, the quiver tip pulled round and the fun and game started. But it was all over as quickly as it had begun. The line had snapped, and to make matters worse, the tip ring on the quiver tip had broken off somehow. We'd been done up like kippers. Nothing to do but try again. As I had yet to have a bite, we swapped swims for a while, and I also managed to lose a decent chub, again getting snapped up trying to keep it from the snags. So Pete moved back into the hot zone and set about earning himself another chance. After each of those lost fish, the chub disappeared into the snags for a while. But they soon returned, although not surprisingly, they were becoming more and more skittish. Crestfallen after my lost fish, I shuffled off back to my original swim with my towel between my legs, hoping we hadn't blown it for the day.
third time's the charm. All we had to do was keep it out of the snags and get it into the net as soon as possible. Snapped up again. They made three on the trot, but it was obvious by now, we were undergunned. The tackle we had was no match for those brutal snags. Undeterred, we fished on into the evening, determined to stick it out to the end and hoping against hope that our fortunes might change. But as we all know, you can't win them all, today just wasn't our day. The fish were still there, mocking our efforts and hoovering up our freebies, so we left them to it with a promise we'd be back one day to get our revenge. Mm -hmm.